Today we are going to see how to use the Flutter web in Firebase hosting. It's completely free. And also we are going to use uh, the tap action for CI CD. It continue when you push your code, it automatically build the web and uh, host into the Firebase hosting. Let's see how it started. Now I'm going to create a new Flutter project. Um, Okay, it's locations and documentation. Let's create an application called uh, Flutter Web CI CD. Now it's creating a project. Yeah, it's created. Now we win we need to initialize our GitHub and host to the GitHub. So it's easy by using a virtual, virtual code. Let's continue. It will ask for public or private. I'm going to give you a public repository. Yeah, it's pushing my code automatically committed. Oh my god. That's it. Our application is um, uploaded in GitHub. Now we are going, we need to make a new project. Already I have a project. Now I'm going to create a new app for web. So Let's name it as uh, Flutter Web CI CD. My site ID. Okay, let's name it as this. Okay, before that, I'm going to just run here yeah, and this app. Copy this and finalize the index.html. Yeah, Flutter web is running. So we need to go stop. Okay, then I suppose this, this is already installed in my system. So mainly we need to copy this because I'm going to use a site called Flutter Web by Fun CI CD. So Let's continue with console. We need to host our site. So this is the uh, Flutter Web CI CD web. This is our URL. This is a custom domain. We need to go for instruction. Already we have this uh, Firebase tool. Then we need to log in. Okay, I'm going for terminal CD documents. The Flutter web. Yeah, right. I need to for login as I'm going to choose my account and allow it. It successfully sign in. Yeah. Then we need to init our project. We are going this for web hosting. Just select the space bar. When you hit a space bar, it will select that and enter. I'm going to use a existing project. Project name is my application. No, the curve that will be available slash web. Okay, as yes, it's going for 
index.html only set up your oh, this is the main thing so you need to set up set up automatic build and deploy with setup yes already it's login not an issue oh, okay so this is our repository name i'm going to paste this Yeah, we need to set up a workflow to continuously push our code and every for now i'm going to just enter uh, we will discuss this step in after that you also set up when a pr is managed okay yes yeah that's the master channel yeah it's now when we go to this the two yaml file is created for both so before that uh, we need to set up one more thing this is yeah uh, for a single project there is a multiple hosting so we need to set up which Hosting, we need to host our app, right? Okay, for that, we need to go for a Firebase.json, just paste that. After that, this is the command, it automatically uh, host our app to that URL. So, we need to configure this. This is not a right command for building a flatter web so next time when you see this so we need to change this command i already used my personal some site with the, this actions right i need to check out the version 2 of uh, flutter then we need to run this build build and build up okay So we just to go and remove this action. For that action, we are just going to use this actions. Basically, use a Java and this version. This is a Flutter. It's down with the Flutter. Then PubGet is running. Then we need to build our application. That's it. So we need to do also in pull request spacing is very important in our file so yeah we are all set then we just commit our code so cd then we need to push our code that's pushing let's see it's pushed or not yeah okay this push when you go for the action there is already one action is added and it's you see yeah our script is running it's automatically deployed to our fiber hosting yeah i need to mention one more thing we just initialize this to script only because uh fiber's adder yeah one more thing there is a automatic this is a new one uh, we know we don't need to configure that um, uh, app messenger id configurations right we don't need the configurations in this it automatically uh, taken from the firebase hosting so uh, your code is not visible to your secret 
configuration is not visible to all when I am making a zip up is to publicly. So let's see how it's happened. Code is running. Let us build a biz in progress. Let's see how it's what I forget. Okay. Flutter build web is completed. Okay, yeah. One more thing I need to tell is we need to enable the API that is a Firebase hosting API. Uh, because this is the API service only. So we need to enable the Firebase API for our my application project. So I'm going uh, there is a pricing session you will compare it so it's header so no problem we just to go and change something let's save it Mm. Change my file. I'm going to commit and push. Yeah, the code is pushed. Now I can see it in action. It's running. I am also new for this automatic configuration. Let's see how it's work. Let's complete those two round. This job is done. Let's see. Just refresh our page. Yeah, do you see the fiber is deployed? Do you see that our uh, well, Flutter web CI series hosted? It's automatically using a JTAP action to our Firebase. It automatically host our changes. Yes, thank you.